Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we're going to show you what you can do if your motherboard BIOS becomes corrupted. Now how do you get a corrupted BIOS? Well in our case we're going to cut the power while we're flashing this motherboard but first we have to show you how to flash the motherboard. So we have our BIOS update here. Uh, we're going to run the update right now. Go ahead and run. Press A key. Go ahead and run. Press yes. And this starts the flashing process uh, and we want to overwrite the file that's there go ahead all right now what you wouldn't want is you wouldn't want anyone to accidentally raise your standing desk while the flashing is going because that could of course do some damage to the bios but uh, we're gonna see if that happens here Oh no, the system turned off and somehow the standing disc went all the way to the highest position. Reconnect power and let's see if our motherboard is able to post successfully, despite those issues. First attempt. Didn't post. Let's try it again. Second attempt. Didn't post. Let's give the motherboard a third try. Okay, so our motherboard was not really able to post successfully because of all the issues we were having. So I'm going to go ahead and power it off now. And then what you want to do is turn off the motherboard move it over to a different BIOS position. This one's on the middle BIOS position now, so it's going to boot on a completely different BIOS. We're going to go ahead and power it on. This should allow us to get back into Windows on the other BIOS that wasn't flashed and is not corrupted. Okay, successful post on the second uh, BIOS. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell it to skip and go straight into Windows. There we go. Windows is now starting up. It may not be happy because of the restart while running, um, but if it wants to do a check disk, we're just going to skip that because we know our Windows is okay. All right, now we're logged back into Windows. So we booted the motherboard on the other BIOS and now it's working fine. So what we want to do is we actually want to switch it back to the BIOS that we corrupted. Um, let me reach over here and pull the switch. Now it's back in the first position where it was corrupted, and then we'll go back to our flasher. We'll go back to the update. We'll tell any key. We'll start our flash again. We'll overwrite the old file. Enter. And now it's going through the flash again. And now this time we're gonna not mess with it, let it do its thing, because if you had one corrupted, chances are next time you do it, it's gonna be fine. So we're gonna let it go through successfully and flash that first BIOS that we initially corrupted. Again, we booted on the second BIOS, we switched it back to that first corrupted BIOS, and now we're flashing it. So that when we restart the system, it's going to restart on that first corrupted BIOS, which will now be a fresh new reflashed BIOS. All right, so our motherboard now says A6. That means it is in the BIOS, and so it has successfully posted with the update that we put on it. So there you go. If you have a corrupted BIOS, if you lose power while you're flashing or somehow you flash the wrong BIOS to your motherboard, um, you are not uh, SOL. You can run it on a different BIOS for that motherboard, and then you can restore that BIOS. That's why we consider multiple BIOS motherboards to be sort of uncrashable in that sense, because you can always use this technique. In some cases, you may have a motherboard that only has one BIOS, but typically will build in a replaceable BIOS chip. So if that gets corrupted, you can always reach out to our support, and we can send you a chip that already has the latest BIOS on it. Uh, at any rate, I hope this was a useful little instruction for you on how to correct your motherboard BIOS issues.